Hello, welcome to the video on number operations. This is our third example set, example set C. And of course, we hope you had a chance to watch the lesson video, because in the lesson video, we talked about um, powers and exponents and the value of really, you know, um, using them. And it was kind of one of these things where it's going to help us work smarter, not harder. So it's going to really save us uh, a lot of time and, and work. And um, we also talked about how to use a calculator and some other things. So if you haven't watched that lesson video, you want to go back to it. But let's get into these problems. And the task is we want to write the expression using powers or using power notation. All right, so here we have our first problem, which is 2 times 2 times 2. Now, what's another way of writing that? Well, we can write that as 2 cubed. Okay, remember the 2 is called the base and it represents what we're multiplying, okay? And the three, right up here, that's called the exponent. That, that indicates how many times we're, we're um, multiplying, uh, whatever, you know, we're multiplying, how many times we're doing it. So here we're doing it one, two, three. Okay, so we're taking two, multiplying it by itself three times. So two cubed, or two to the third power is the way we would write that. And this is a power. All right, so moving on, you might want to try this problem. Same thing, there's not uh, any trick questions here. It's just basically practice. So we're taking three, we're multiplying by itself one, two, three, four, five times. Okay, so that is three to the fifth power. Pretty straightforward stuff. All right, two to the tenth power. So now I have a verbal phrase. What does that mean? Well, it's 2 to the 10th power, or simply 2 to the 10th power. Okay? Y times Y. Now, once again, we talked about this in a lesson. The concept of powers and exponents and everything else, uh, it's simply not uh, restricted just to numbers. You can, do, you can use it for anything. Okay? We're going to be doing a lot with variables. So, same concept follows here. So, Y times Y is Y squared. Okay, we're multiplying y by itself two times. Okay, so that's y squared. How about this problem here? What do we have? Okay, we have 3x being multiplied by itself one, two, three, four times. So we would write that this way, 3x. Now here, this is a, a small, what might seem like a small detail, but it's actually pretty important. So we want to say 3x to the fourth power. What I want you to get in the habit of doing is putting parentheses around that variable expression or that term okay and then put a little four like that because here 3x to the fourth okay there this there's actually this is actually not technically correct okay I'm not going to go into it um, right now we'll get into that later on so just know right now when you have these variable terms not one variable, when there's more than one variable, especially in a number, you're going to have to put in parentheses around it, just like this. Okay, next problem. So we have xz, that's the way we would say that, being multiplied by itself. One, two, three, four, five times. So in this case, xz to the fifth power, xz to the fifth. That's how we would write that. So we want to go ahead and use those parentheses. And now here, our last problem, we already have parentheses. So we have x plus h times x plus h times x minus h. Hmm. Now you might say, well, have x plus h times x plus h times x minus h. x minus h is different than the others. It's kind of like that, uh, what, is, what was it? I believe it was Sesame Street. Something doesn't look like the one thing, little four squares, and kind of have to look and say, well, what doesn't fit in here? Well, something doesn't fit in. Not that the, there's anything wrong with this. It's just that um, when we're, we're using powers, remember, we are interested in, in things that the exact same thing being multiplied by itself. So we can create a power expression right here for these first two, but not for the third one, this g minus h. So the way you would do this is x plus h times x plus h. I can write that this way, x plus h squared, and then I'm just going to go ahead and multiply that by that lonely x minus h. Okay, so that's pretty much it. 
So if you got to these problems, you understand, even if you didn't quite get it the first time, as long as you're understanding now, that's what, that's what counts. Okay? So introduction to powers and exponents. We're going to do a lot of this later, but if you understand this so far, then you're doing great. Okay, we'll see you soon.